I did scrub my hands and my nails and everything. Trust me. <laughs> we don't trust you. But um, She's a pig. She is a pig. And people get so upset that I call her a pig. She's a pig. That is disgusting and so disrespectful. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you are new, my name is Charlie. Please consider subbing before you exit this video. Now in today's video, I am going to react to Chantel's birthday celebration, mukbang. And I think she's taste testing Steven Sushi's ranch, which I'm sure will taste great according to her because they are YouTube friends. I'm not saying it isn't great either way. However, you know how I feel about mukbangs. Let's get right into the reaction. Hello, everybody. Hey guys, BB and I both would like to apologize in advance for the noise distraction in the background. I will try to go in a more That's quiet. That's been the last few weeks. BB doesn't care anymore. Okay, guys. Well, uh, I have uh, quite a bit of things to get through in Wait this video. Minute. So, so there's four huge cucumbers sitting on the table. Unless she plans on eating all of those, that's just to be aesthetically pleasing, and that's a waste of food. Especially during times like this. That's why I'm pointing that out. It, to be aesthetically pleasing for Mukbang, to monetize your addiction. Unless, I could be wrong. I could be definitely wrong. She probably will. Eat. I don't see her eating these, though. I'm so annoyed already. Let's waste no time, okay? <laughs> hello, hello. Welcome. My other water. <laughs> I have two waters on the go here. So first thing, I want to show you what I'm having to drink. And she just apologized for the noise. What happened to the other room? I don't understand the setup of her house. I'm not supposed to understand it, obviously. But she had that other room with the wall in the background that... I think that was yesterday's video. What happened to that? Why is she sitting out here? If it's so noisy. And that is... Had a bit of soapy water. That is my teeny... I'm using my Timmy tumbler to drink lemon water. So I found another use. I did order more tea. I have some exciting Timmy products coming to show you guys actually. And uh, this is a pretty big tumbler, 600 mils, 20 ounce tumbler. I really love the color. It's a mint green. And I added I do a like that chocolate too. Meyer lemon. It's cute. Um, and because this has a screen, a mesh screen. Oh, um, I won't get any of the pits or any of the pulp or anything like that. So it's Normally, I don't like anything she promotes just because it's her. However, I remember when she first started promoting Timmy Teas. I feel like it's one of those laxative tea companies, so I never understood why she was promoting them. Especially, it was around the time when she was preaching about body positivity, which she wasn't practicing herself. However, I may be wrong about this company, but if I'm correct, they carry those type of laxative teas, which I don't support. The tumbler is cute, though. It's a great way to add flavored water, whatever you want. Mint, cucumber would actually look nice in this. So, yeah, and they're good quality. These are BPA free. Teamy, I love Teamy. I've been with them for a while. Um, you can always use my discount code, Chantal20. Um, I forget what the minimum purchase price is. I will have to put it somewhere on the screen here. Um, another thing that I've been using from Teamy just while we're on Teamy Couldn't you contact um, them? is their greens. They sent me their greens with a scoop here. I've been using it. Yeah, <laughs> it smells green. Um, I'm not gonna lie, it tastes like wheatgrass or like green tea, wheatgrass. It's got like broccoli, uh, kale, wheatgrass, spirulina. You can put it in your smoothies, make a juice out of it, just add water. Um, it's a good way to get in your greens because let's face it, who eats, you know, tons and tons of greens every day? Not me. So <laughs> this is a good way. I put it in my smoothies and um, yeah, I've been, it actually does. I find it gives me a bit of energy boost and it's really healthy, so again, you can check that out. You can use the, my discount, Chantal 20, on anything on their wow, website. Wow, that's a lot of ranch. So, yes. Can you turn down a little bit more, maybe? Or... Alright, so let's try this Meyer lemon water. Let the man do whatever he wants in his house. <laughs> Lemony. Oh, I'm not sponsored by Teamy, but I do earn a commission for every purchase. So if you do purchase from Teamy, thank you. Alright, so, let's get two, let's get two. So first things first here, I have some Lebanese cucumbers, I think they're called. And I want to see what she eats. Ranch, That's okay? a lot of ranch. It's not a huge bowl. I don't want to waste it. <laughs> but um, guess what I've got? Drip seasonings. 
Steven's Ranch Recipe. So if you don't know who Steven Sushi is, he's a mukbanger. He's got lots of subscribers. He likes to dip everything in a shit ton of ranch. And uh, he likes it saucy, you know? So I found out about Steven Sushi because I follow stripper vlogs. I don't know if you guys are into them, but I love stripper vlogs. And Nina Unrated, Nina Unrated did a collab with him. And I like the collab. They're cool. I love stripper vlogs. I don't follow Steven Sushi, but I knew about him through that one collab. His ranch recipes on the back here, very simple. Um, and yeah, you just add a tablespoon of this into the um, buttermilk, mayonnaise, sour cream. Then you let it chill for a bit, chill it in the fridge. And you have some ranch, you have some ranch. Can't wait to try it. <laughs> I've been really wanting beloved sauce, but no beloved sauce for me. I can't order it here in Canada, so oh well. Um, I'll try to replicate it one day. So let's have a cucumber. I've been really craving this with ranch. It's like super thick and yummy. Oh, they're not There's as like big as I like thought. Chives and like, is there dill? But is she gonna eat all four? Oh, they're, they're still dill. pretty big. Marry me now, Steve. Marry me now. <laughs> all right, guys. Could you imagine them dating? Ranch. Oh, cool. You ready, anybody? Okay. I mean, it's her birthday. She should be happy. I'm done freaking out. That is thebomb.com. It's so good. I do wonder if BB's still going to do it. I get it, they're exes, but I do wonder if BB at least did something nice for her. I mean, they're still under the same roof. It does seem a bit weird and awkward between them, especially after that Big Mac uh, mukbang she did. However, I mean, I think it would be nice if he still did something. Even get, oh well, he can't get her a card because they can't really leave the house. I don't know. I still would have done something, ordered something off of Amazon for her, something. They've been together, what, eight years? Seven, eight years? It would have been nice. Oh, yes. Yeah. So check out Steven Sushi's channel for, I don't know how you would buy this. He was nice enough to send it to me. But I asked to be on the PR list. I'm like, am I going to be on your PR list? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my <laughs> God, God, BB. <laughs> it's okay, BB. Um, so, yeah, check it out if you want oh, to try BB. Steven's ranch. The least he could have done is been quiet for her birthday because BB has not cared for weeks now. But at least on the girl's birthday. It, actually, no, I take that back. Literally, as I was saying it, I thought about what I was saying. Continue on, BB. She's still monetizing her addiction. I would love, I would pay money to hear BB just fart during one of her mukbangs. And I think that's nasty. However, Chantal doesn't really edit, so I know she'd leave it in there. If you want to support your favorite mukbangers when they come out with products, let's try it on chicken wings. Oh, by the way, I have chicken wings. I wanted to have, I was craving chicken wings and veggies for my- I'm confused. How is she supporting Steven Sushi? I thought he sent it to her. Isn't that what she said? Or did she spend her money on it? I don't know. Everything else. I bought these chicken wings and put barbecue sauce and seasoning myself. Beauty, 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 bite. If you don't like eating noises. How many times is she going to say that? Sloppy eating. As you guys know, I'm doing retro reacts to her as well. And I'm noticing she wasn't this sloppy years ago. It's gotten worse because she is really... She, she's aware of her audience. She's aware she has a majority of feeders. So she knows what she's doing. She's catering to them. She really, I mean, it's only been three videos, but she really did not eat like this. My God. My hands are clean. I have a little towel here, but. Use a napkin. I'm not saying I don't eat like a convict out of jail, depending on the day. Sometimes I do, but. As of right now, I'm really trying to stay aware of when I'm licking my fingers, when I'm touching my face. And I actually don't eat like this. Like, I really don't. However, I eat, obviously. I just... She, I don't want Chantal to get sick, but sometimes it feels like she's just trying to get sick right now. And her body can't fight that.
At least you chew with your mouth closed. Damn. Honestly, sometimes these eating noises do get annoying. I was trying to think of like a story time. For like my my worst on my best birthday party. But I really like I think I told you them all. So let's take a trip down memory lane, I guess, and I'll tell you the stories again. She makes most of these up. She could have just made up a new one. She's so lazy. She's getting lazier as the years go by. This is probably my This is probably my worst birthday, <laughs> honestly. Besides spending it with you guys. You know what I mean, right? She said that as BB entered the kitchen or whatever area she's in, she emphasized that she is so petty. So he didn't do anything for her. Yeah. Well, she is eating the cucumbers. That was my biggest. Our ranch blows any bottle ranch out of the water. Oh yeah. All that ranch. So. so I don't know why I feel if sick I, watching this. this, this mm -mm. Every year, I typically see my mom. A napkin, girl, a napkin. I did scrub my hands and my nails and everything. Trust me. <laughs> we don't trust you. But, um, you trust the CDC. I'm typically pretty spoiled on my birthdays. Like, usually I have a ritual where I have a group of friends. She sounds like she's been spoiled throughout life, not just her birthdays. Usually, Marina will treat me to dinner. Then I'll see another, I'll have like other friends as well in there. Um, usually, well, I used to do something with Phoebe, but <laughs> usually I see my mom. My sister and I, and she she decorates her place with balloons and has like a number of my age balloon and like all these little gifts that she gives me. She got me um, I do feel a little bad because now that I'm thinking about it, because she normally looks pathetic, but today she looks even more pathetic. Not only is it her birthday and because of everything going on, she can't celebrate with loved ones, but she's in a house with an ex who clearly doesn't care about what she does for work, nor should he because of what she's doing. However, he should, I guess, give her a bit more respect if this is her job. And oh, I can't believe I'm doing this, but I, honestly, he should kind of quiet down. Um, he is doing a lot. And I know he is sick as well, and they're both stuck in the house. I don't think it would kill him to stay silent for like 30 to 45 minutes it's for her to film this, monetize her addiction, and upload it. Although he wouldn't need to be quiet for the editing, but you get my point. And not to mention, I don't know, I just think this, oh, this face is not good. Not to mention, I just, I don't know, I feel bad for her because it is her birthday. I know when I get disappointed on my birthdays, I take it a little harder than normal. Um, I still don't like her. I'm not going to say this is karma because it's her birthday. It's the one day of the year that's yours, but I do feel bad. Maybe her family should have done something on the phone together. Like my older sister just did that for one of her friends. And if this continues, we'll do that for my birthday as well. We'll have a FaceTime party and that's what it will be. I think she needs to have more creative friends, although I do question friends that she may have outside of Pete's. I don't think she has many, but I feel bad some stuff for my house that she's gonna for my new place that she's gonna uh, keep at her place until I move and then she's gonna come help me decorate I don't get it why is she keeping stuff at she got me some really nice things for my place and uh oh her friend bought it got it So I usually have very nice birthdays, but I 
can't really complain. This is what sucks because of this worldwide situation. You know, it's hard to celebrate. I would say at least you still have your health, but With people suffering and sick. That would be wrong. Everything like that. But another bad birthday. She doesn't have to drench it. Remember I told you when I was a kid? God. Wasn't my birthday. She makes her. She makes my look so disgusting. I know this girl. She lived on my street. She was. Bitch. <laughs> so you're talking about yourself, little Chantel, or who are you talking about? She would hang out with me because we lived on the same street. It was convenient. Makes sense. And when you're a kid, you're really just looking for anyone to hang out with, you know? So she had this group of friends from school. For whatever reason, they didn't like me. I don't find like that me. hard to believe. I don't even remember why. You're a bitch. But she was like, nice to me when we were one on one. And then whenever I'd be over and she'd have her other friends over, like at a birthday party, for instance, she would completely bully me. Like her and her friends would bully me, shun me. They would like ignore me the whole time. I really want her to and learn the meaning of bullying. So finally, I've had enough. It was her birthday party. And <laughs> um, is she okay? Like. I don't remember what year it was. Was it 95, 90? She's 90, definitely emotionally 90. eating right now. Whenever. Do you guys remember the movie? I might need a little bit more ranch. I'll be right back. There was a lot left. She's. Okay. I'm not. Even it's still heating up. <laughs> Maybe it's heating up that pastry that I showed you. My... Oh, you already ate it? So, okay. So, it was like whenever Dangerous Finds the movie. Do you remember the movie Dangerous Finds being? Dangerous Story? Minds. Do you remember the movie Dangerous Minds? Remember that? Oh, Dangerous Minds, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool Leo song? Been spinning most of the living in the gangsta paradise. Well, the movie. <laughs> well. How's she not full with those like cucumbers? Super popular. Wow, that's a lot. So I really wanted to take. But I had to wait for like my mom's next payday. She had like, I think she spent all her money buying my friend the table. <laughs> Four of remember. those wings and two of those cucumbers but, would fill her up if she wasn't clearly emotionally eating right now. Fill her up a lot. I was super excited to give this present to her. What is it? Pepper. Get chicken. What's that? I put Frank's red hot on his. I wasn't feeling the vinegariness of it. Right. Even that's nice. She's still cooking for him. CDs were not a thing. I don't think the tape was always cheaper. Although he's so, paying most of the bills, so. I mean, that's the least you could do. I put in a gift bag the tape. And I don't mean that in a sexist way. Track with that cool deal song. I know someone's commenting that as we speak. I go over. Her snotty friends are there, and they're all hanging out. And she was super snotty to me. Like, super bitchy, super snotty. Her and her friends ignoring me again. We were playing Barbies. She 
she, her and her friends were, she let her friends pick any Barbie they wanted. She made me play with a G.I. Joe. It's okay. You know, I'm not a joint G.I. Joe. Oh my god, Chantel, come on. I wanted to play with the darn Barbie. So did you ask for the Barbie? Steven Sushi, this ranch. It must really be good, because she's having ranch with a side of wings. No. She's eating ranch in this. It's a ranch it's mukbang. It's a lot of ranch. You could probably sprinkle it on like vegetables too, like baked potatoes. Alright. So. I'm shocked. She actually finished all her. Hot. She's finishing all those wings. Wow. By the way, you can make it vegan too. I used light dairy products here. Is that why she's tearing it up like that? If she picks up this bowl to drink it, I will anyway. die. I will die. That would be the ultimate troll. So my mom off. Drinking the ranch. And, even though uh, she's kind of doing that. I call my mom. I'm like, I'm coming home. I don't want to be here. She's like... And I could walk home easily, but... You know, I don't think my mom drove in. She got her license later. She was nervous to drive. But she wanted to be able to go to my grandmother. Take care of her. Anyway. You would think she would retell, like, if she's retelling these stories, like, say it with a little more oomph. And I know she's probably not in the best mood, but wow. How do you tell the same story? I don't know when she told these stories, but how do you tell the same story and possibly make it more boring than the first time? Why is this video so long? Yeah. So, she's like, let me talk to her mother. You want me to talk to her and work it out? No, 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 I'm coming home. On my way out, I grabbed, <laughs> I grabbed my gift bag and took my gift bag. I think Chantel would still do that today. I think Chantel, at the age of 36, 37, whatever age she turned, would still do that today. Because she's that petty. Being a child, though, I definitely understand that. I I probably would have done the same thing. I was a petty kid. I wasn't a punk like her, but I was a petty kid. So I probably would have done the same thing. But I could see Chantel doing that today. I wouldn't do that today. I would actually just speak up and tell them I'm upset about how they're treating me. But I don't think communication is her strong suit either. She found out what I'd done. Her mom called my mom, and like my mom put it like it was on speaker, put everything on speaker phone then. Right on one of those bell phones with like speaker. Anyway, I was gonna say, you could hear this girl screaming and running in the background. Wait, did she take more than just her gift? Freaking out. I mean, screaming like a lunatic. <laughs> no, they're kids. Well, shouldn't have given me the G.I. Joe. What do you I think she's going to do with the rest twice. of that ranch? I have two ideas. See, she's either going to drink the ranch, or she's probably going to get more wings off camera and use up the rest of that ranch. She will not let that ranch go to waste. I can guarantee it. Live later, hang out with you guys, um, and have my special birthday dessert. She's been doing a lot of lives. Michael, 
Will you try this sauce? Steven Sushi, one of the bookbenders sent it to me. You dip your chicken wings in it. What? That is so disrespectful. That is so disrespectful. So you were handing this man some ranch to try and you burp in the same direction, not only in the same direction as the ranch, but in the same direction as him. And it didn't even sound like he flinched. He's used to, oh my God. She's a pig. She is a pig. And people get so upset that I call her a pig. She's a pig. That is disgusting and so disrespectful. It's ranch. Wow. It's ranch. Ranch. Compang. Sauce à la compang. I think it's called in French. Compang. Mm. Just dip your damn wing in it. I'm not 100% fluent in French, so I can't it's good. comment. Compang. Oh, okay. She said it wrong. Yeah. Let it go. Those are cute. You're still nasty. Well, there's gonna be a French word. No, some words don't translate. I I cannot believe she did that. I can't. Oh my god. I have some teeny tea coming too. That got me so annoyed. I'm over this video. It's called relax. It's probably got chamomile and all that. This is a big one. Does this look bigger than the other ones we normally get from teeny? Baby, drop some pots, some pans, anything at this point. Wow. Anyway, I didn't have time to tell you about my favorite birthday. I think I told the story time about it, though. It was, like, the one where I was, like, turned 18, and I was legal to go into, like, strip clubs in Quebec. So I went with my friend, and um, it was the best birthday because I had the most memories from it, but it was, like, the worst strip club ever. It was, like... You didn't go to the right place, Like, it was men, and, like, it was horrible. It was a horrible experience. Hot shots? How do you know, baby? Hot shots? It's called hot shots. Oh, no. There is one big one in Montreal. Oh, in Montreal. Oh, it's Club Super Sex. It's like one level is men, and then like the lower level is women. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> well, you mean they're closing because of coronavirus? Or are they closed? Um, oh, yeah. Correct her real quick. Well, he knows about them. That's right, BB. Yeah, I don't think people are thinking of lap dances right now. That's not social distancing. Who is BB making it rain on? Social distance lap dance. I like strip clubs. Here, dip, just dip a wing and tell me if you like them. This is so wet. So for my 21st birthday, that's actually where I celebrated in a strip club. I went to Sue's Rendezvous in New York. Anyone who's up north knows Sue's Rendezvous. It's a pretty well-known strip club. And we were there until about, I want to say three, maybe four, towards the end of the night when all the strippers were going, you know, home and getting off the stage. Uh, one of the security guards actually let a few of my friends and I get on stage and dance. It was mostly my friends because I was so shy. I did a little something, not too much. I'm not going to pretend like I was really up there twerking. I wasn't. But a few of my friends had a bit more liquor in them and they were up there. I think they made around two to three hundred dollars and that's a no-no in strip clubs to make money versus the strippers making money you could get kicked out for that however it was at the end of the night where the strippers were already done so but there were still people there and they gave i want to say it was like two maybe three but i know it was over two hundred dollars and because it was my birthday my friends gave it to me i was so happy Ah, oh, the young days the young days now believe it or not nowadays i would actually get on stage trust me there's a there's many sides to me you guys don't know about. Um, I would actually get on stage. I think it, oh I love strip clubs. They're fun. Curious. You're doing a taste test for the public. Probably why I like stripper stripper vlogs and stuff like that. So. No. Not your bag. Just shut up and let him taste it. And then we find it. Yeah. Uh, Oh, there you go. And he doesn't usually like ranch. Yeah. Well, I wouldn't let him do it all the time. Because he doesn't like crazy ranch. He doesn't like ranch stuff. Or just let him tell it. All right, so. He was speaking. All these years, couldn't get him to speak. Now you won't let him speak. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching my birthday video. 
quarantine style, not quarantine. I will um, never forget that burp. Disrespect. I don't know. I just went out to get some groceries, and like I said, the stores are taking a lot of sanitation precautions, and I have my mask here, and I have a big thing of hand sanitizer. Um, so I'm being extra careful not to really go too close to people because I know BB had a cold. Um, but he's already feeling better, and to knock on wood, I hope I don't catch it. But we're only going, I'm only going out like when I absolutely have to. Like, I won't have to go out for a while now. So, I have my medication. I had to pick up another medication that my doctor said to my pharmacy. Mm, we get so, it. So, yes. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Well, thank you guys for enduring this with me. I hope you did enjoy. Remember, be better today than you were yesterday and greater tomorrow than you will be today. Later.